Coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your second RPG tutorial using Mono Game. So the last tutorial was really exciting. Well, not really, but we got some stuff done. We got the screen manager class done and what I really need to explain to you guys is that I really 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 want to get to the fun stuff but before we can get to the fun of full-fledged graphics battle scenes all that good stuff we have to get rid of the boring stuff first right we have to get the it's kind of like a when you're building a website I guess you got to get the back end stuff done and then you got to get the front end stuff, the beautiful stuff that everybody sees, right? You have to get the stuff done that's behind the scenes. Uh, maybe it's like a movie or whatever. The stuff behind the scenes is boring, but then when you actually see that movie or that TV show or whatever, it looks so amazing. So that's what we're doing right now. We're building the background stuff, the foundation. And then when it comes, when it comes to the good stuff, then it's going to be easier and we'll be able to program the more fun stuff in a, uh, in a better fashion, in a more organized fashion. Anyways, enough talking about that. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to, uh, we're going to create the base class for the screens and then we're going to actually display something from a screen on a window to actually show you how the screens work in action and the screens aren't going to be finished uh today but we're just gonna uh, or in this tutorial sorry but we're just going to uh it's not going to be finished today but we're just gonna just do some of the outlining stuff just to show you how everything is done so i've created a brand new class called game screen and the game screen class is going to be the base class for every other screen out there so when we say base class, ultimately the first thing that normally comes to people's minds is uh, inheritance and polymorphism. So we are going to be using inheritance and polymorphism in this program. So what what happens when we need to use polymorphism? We need to use virtual classes. I mean, not virtual classes. Sorry, sorry, that was stupid. We need to use virtual methods. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have four virtual methods. We're going to have a virtual void load content. This one has no parameter. We're going to have a virtual void unload content. We're going to have a virtual void update. And as you guessed, we have the game time. And last but not least, we have a virtual void and we have a draw. And you probably guessed it, we have a sprite batch. You smart ones. Anyways, so, uh, uh, okay, sorry. So now that we've gotten that done, what did I do wrong? I did something wrong. I don't know what I did. Probably spelled it wrong. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we have to include graphics as well. I am so sorry. So now that that's done, we have uh, load content, unload content, update, and draw. And I've already explained what these methods are going to do. So we don't have to really re explain it. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a protected uh, member. And I'm pretty sure if you have a good working knowledge of, uh, of C sharp and XNA, you know what protected means. So, what we're gonna do is we also gotta add in the content. And we're gonna make an instance of a content manager. So what we have to do is we're quickly going to go to the screen manager and we're going to make a public content manager. Manager instance, we're going to say content, we'll get a private set and get. So uh, in this load content method right here, we're going to say that this content is equal to content sorry new content manager content dot service provider and we have content in quotations 
And what we're going to do in our game screen class, we're going to do something extremely similar. We're going to take the content from here. We're going to say content manager, but we're going to use the screen manager content dot service provider. And then we're going to add content in quotations. Okay. So it was exact same thing, but we're, inst we're just going to get the screen managers content rather than the content from a parameter. Okay, so what this is going to do is since it's protected, uh, we're going to have contents throughout all of our game screen and this is very, very beneficial to us. So whenever we load in objects or we do something, when we load in images or sounds or whatever we want to load in, we want to unload what we load in when we're done with that current screen. So we're just going to make a call to content.unload and that will unload everything that we've loaded using the content manager. And we have our update, we have our draw, but we're not going to really do much with that right now. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to create another class and we're going to call this splash screen. So this splash screen class is going to be the first screen that we actually see and as you guessed as you probably guessed we're going to uh, inherit from the game screen class so what are we going to do we're going to override everything now before I override it I'm going to include the namespaces that are needed that's all so we're going to override the unload content the update and the draw okay so now that everything is there uh we got we got everything set up now we're not going to do anything fancy schmancy or whatever all we're going to do is just draw some text oh draw a string uh oh we don't even have a font you know what let's let's draw an image because text is boring images are so much better right so much better anyways so we got the texture 2d and we're just gonna call it image and we're gonna have a string called path and I'm gonna put this here because it has significance to do with the next tutorial so I have this there for a reason so we're gonna say image is equal to content dot uh, load and we're loading in a texture 2d and we're gonna load in the path now right now we're just gonna say the path is equal to uh, let's say uh, splash screen slash image and I don't have an image yet but we'll be adding one quite soon so let's just say that's the path to our image uh, we have our update and our draw we'll just say sprite batch dot draw and we will draw our image at vector to zero and no tinting at all so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to our screen manager class and we're going to make a game screen and we're gonna call it current screen so that's gonna be the screen that is currently being displayed so in here we'll just set current screen equal to new splash screen and remember this is polymorphism in action right now so th this is of a type game screen but since the splash screen is derived from the game screen we can call the override we can call the overrided men uh, sorry we can call the overrided methods now so now we're gonna make a call to current screen load content we have current screen unload content we have our current screen dot update and last but not least we have our current screen dot draw okay draw okay so we've gotten that finished off now so last but not least we actually have to add an uh, image I'm pretty sure you know how to add an image but what I want to do is just create a folder I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this but I've created a splash screen folder and I'm going to be adding in an image an existing image uh, let's see uh, let me take one from an old project or take from here so 
I have my image is called image one and uh, so I gotta change that there oh is it not loaded in is it yeah okay so it has loaded in and what's gonna happen what should happen is it should be drawn to the screen and it isn't that's quite embarrassing uh, let's see what we did wrong so it says screen manager doesn't exist in the current context that does not make any sense to me right now so let's see what is going on okay so that was pretty weird um I was reading on the internet it was saying something about the target framework I don't know for some reason it just wasn't detecting my namespace if you get an error like that let me know but I just all I did was just right click and I said to set a startup project um, and once I did that it it just worked I don't know uh, but if you have a problem then please let me know I will help you guys out but uh, I think it was just my project if you're continuously having problems and start a new project and try it again uh, that, uh, but it shouldn't really happen to you sorry so what we want to do is uh, you want to before you run this you want to go to gamemode.cs I forgot to do this and we want to do sprite batch dot begin and sprite batch dot end or else we're gonna get error okay so let's run this and voila you can kind of see it sort of maybe so what I like to do is I like to change the black sometimes and voila it looks very beautiful Cody made easy in light blue or electric blue whatever it is so anyways that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching i hope you look forward to the next one and bye for now